The ASU Space Collective is giving businesses a new way to connect, collaborate, and boost Arizona's economy. Joining us to discuss the Space Collective is Jessica Rousseau. She's director of the ASU Interplanetary Initiative. I was afraid I might screw that up. There's a lot of syllables you in that right. word. Thank you for coming in. <laughs> Let's start for having with me. What's the Space Collective about? Yeah, so the ASU Space Collective is a brand new program that we launched in the fall of last year. And it attracts um, uh, member organizations uh, from the commercial space sector to uh, work closely with ASU and Arizona more broadly in understanding their business goals, understanding how we can support their growth and connecting those needs to opportunities across ASU and across uh, the state of Arizona. Uh, so we believe that um, investing in the commercial space sector for Arizona to take an active role in this is going to be very important and very beneficial to, um, to, to, to all of the state. And so um, this program and the idea actually came out of an event that we hosted last year. It was the inaugural Arizona Space Summit, and it brought together leaders across sectors, so from government, from industry, and from academia, where we really accomplished two main major things. One was um, outlining um, all the incredible infrastructure, capabilities, talent, knowledge base that exists in Arizona and the heritage that we have around space, and to listen to these companies to understand what their needs are um, to drive their business forward, and um, then to pave a way to work together more effectively and to really develop a strategy for the state to uh, develop the space economy here in Arizona. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about the space economy in Arizona, because the collective sounds great if that's your thing, right? Like if I work in the space industry, this is where I want to be involved in. But mm -hmm. for people who aren't, other people in Arizona, why should we care about the space economy here? Yes, and it's important to understand how this is connected to our daily lives, because it is in so many ways. So space is the future. I'm certainly your audience has heard a lot about space activities that are happening. And it's more than, you know, national security. All these things are important and, and you know, science and exploration. Uh, but it's also about economic development. Um, and so um, Arizona, so first, the space industry and the commercial space industry, of course, generates high value jobs across the continuum from uh, operators to PhD scientists. It generates so much innovation. We are the beneficiaries of tons of innovations that come from investments in space the internet, GPS, and so many products that really exist in our daily lives. And then the other piece that I think is really important to highlight is um, how space can solve our problems on Earth and specifically here in Arizona. For example, um, you know, observing the Earth and sensing, remote sensing from space can allow us to address some of our most existential you know, situations here uh, in terms of climate change. For example, um, securing our uh, water supply for the future. Well, everybody definitely cares about that. Thank yeah. you for explaining how it impacts our economy. Do you have, uh, the last year's summit was the inaugural, so do you have another one planned for this year? Yes. So we have our next summit happening at the end of the month. Uh, we're very excited because the last summit set out a, a set of recommendations that we've taken collective action to advance. So we're going to be making a number of announcements as to how we've all done that collectively across stakeholders in the state. Uh, and it'll be a two day event. And I just want to maybe share with your audience that the first day, which is going to be March 27th uh, on a Wednesday, is open to the public. And this is going to be focused on uh, workforce development for the space sector. Uh, so we will be hearing from leaders in academia and industry, and we'll have students featured and CEOs of companies to really understand what is going to be needed in terms of developing an innovative workforce to support the promise of this uh, growing sector. Where can people get more information for the Wednesday, March 27th? Yes. So uh, everyone can register and learn more at azspacesummits.com. We also will be issuing our next uh, summit report if everyone wants to see what the outcomes of those conversations are. Is this, the summit the same as the Space Career Fair, or is that a separate 
So the Space Career Fair is happening the afternoon of the first day of the summit. So we'll have the Space Career Fair. In fact, we'll have, it'll be sort of an all-space day at ASU. Uh, our student um, uh, clubs are going to be having tabling around uh, the Tempe campus. So you'll be able to learn about all of our programs and degree programs and everything space at ASU, which is very extensive. Thank you so much. It's a lot of information. One more time, mm -hmm. give the website for people yes. to get information. azspacesummit.com. azspacesummit.com. Yes. Thank you so Thank much, you Jessica. So much. I, it's been a great show full of people loving what we're talking about. <laughs> Jessica Rousseau, director of the ASU Interplanetary Initiative. Yes. Thanks for coming in. Thank you so much.